Alrighty, welcome back everyone, it's Garlan here bringing you another Neverwinter video. Uh, today's video is going to be a how-to guide on the Wonders of Gong event. Uh, so as you can see, it is currently active. Uh, nothing too special out of this event, to be honest. Uh, if we take a look here, you know, you're going to be farming non-stop, basically. Uh, let's take a look at the event NPC. And if we look at the store... Uh, you can get a Creations of Wonder pack. Now you have the chance to pull the Apparatus of Gong or the embellish, Embellished Apparatus of Gong. Uh, also some refinement items, uh, Insignia, a Wondrous Gizmo. Uh, you also have the chance to pull the Forge, ha forge Hammer of Gong out of this event. Uh, it is, you know... Very rare, however, uh, you can also get Coalescent Wards, you can get Preservation Wars, or the Blacksmith Companion. Uh, but it's <laughs> it's not worth it, guys. Uh, to trade in for this pack, you have to trade in a Doohickey. Now, a Doohickey is the last ranked item of the event. Basically, you have to go around uh, and farm monsters, uh, and then collect... Uh, gears basically and there's seven ranks and you have to rank them up it's just like when you would uh refine an enchantment you know how there's different ranks you know well you have to do that uh to level seven and a doohickey is level seven uh so every doohickey you get you can actually trade in for one of these packs which will give you a chance to get all of this um if this is your first time actually playing uh, the Wonders of Gong event, uh, I don't want you to get overwhelmed. Uh, the amount of farming that you have to do to even get one doohickey is absolutely insane. Uh, the Wonders of Gong event comes around multiple times a year. Uh, what I recommend is that you do all your refining and save what you have and just save it for the next event. Uh, I don't want you to feel pressured that you have to get a doohickey, you know, the first time around. Uh, that goes as, you know, as far as experienced players go too, but they kind of know what to do already. Um, but yeah, the chances of you getting a doohickey in one weekend event is very unlikely unless you're playing, you know, 16 hours a day and specifically only farming this event. Or if you have, you know, an alt army, if you have 30 characters, uh, because you can make some of this stuff via professions as well. But, as you can see, there are different ranks to each one. Uh, and, like I said, there's nothing, you know, really great out of the event overall. But let's bring up our professions menu real quick. See if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got here. So, jewel crafting, for instance. Each profession will have one, by the way. So, for jewel crafting, you need a lot of materials. So let's click on this real quick. So you need 75 iron ore, uh, 25 pelts, uh, 50 charcoal, which I don't have any, and then some uh, residum. And then your final result, if you would happen to get tier 3, is a rank 3 sprocket, a rank 4 gadget, and then 5 grommets, and... Uh, two cogs. So basically the grommets is what you're going to be farming out in the world. Uh, this is what drops off the mobs. They all start at rank one. Um, and then, you know, the wonders cog is going to be your rank two. Uh, the rank three is your sprocket. Uh, the rank four is the gadget. And then I don't know what rank five and six is offhand, but like I said, it does go up to the doohickey, which is rank seven. Uh, so if you want to waste, you know, all of these profession materials... Uh, on this, making this, they only take two hours. Uh, so if you do have, like I said, multiple alts, if you have an alt army, you can pump these out fairly quickly. Uh, but most people don't have, you know, a lot of alts. Uh, so leather working, you can see what you need there. Uh, Mel smithing. Uh, you definitely don't want to do some mel smithing. You have to watch when you do these guys because some of these resources you don't want to waste. Like this is going to take uh, some fundamental lightning and fundamental fire. You really don't want to waste these as you can use these two in particular resources uh, elsewhere for a bigger payoff. Uh, so like I said, professions, that's you know going to be totally up to you guys if you want uh, to do that. So if we do take a look at the um, trade house here. I think it's in refinement. I could be wrong. Who knows? It is. Okay, so if we look at a doohickey, 
Uh, you can simply buy Doohickey rank seven right off the market. It's going to cost you 565k. Now these are Xbox prices. Your platform might be different. I don't know what the prices are on PC or PS4, but like I said, you're looking at at least 500k plus to buy a Doohickey. And like I said, every Doohickey you have is a chance to get you know one bag, to get a chance to get one of those items. So let's just say it takes you five Doohickeys to get one apparatus. Uh, which is the epic mount. Um, so that's what? 1 million, 2 million. That's 2.5 million if you would buy them. Okay, now if you make them, that's fine. You know, that's, if you make anything, that's 100% free most of the time. But to get five doohickeys, yeah, not going to happen in a single, single Wonders of Gong event. Like I said, unless you have 50 alts pumping out the materials and everything. But like I said, for instance, so it's going to cost you about 2.5 million uh if you would buy these well let's go take a look at the mounts and see how much one of the mounts cost because i guarantee it's going to be less <laughs> just saying so yeah there you go guys apparatus of gong 1 million the embellished apparatus of gong 1.5 so that's you know 1 million plus. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that, that that could be hit or miss, guys. You could turn in one doohickey and automatically pull it. But, I mean, the ratio on the mounts, you know, I think it's something like 10%. You have 10% chance. I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but we'll say it's a 10% chance to pull the uh, mount out of this pack. So, I mean, you can blow through doohickeys left and right. You know, it all depends on the RNG of the game, unfortunately. Uh, and then, of course, to get the Force Hammer of Gong out of this vent is pretty much impossible uh i mean i've seen it happen a few times but like i said rng guys rng what are you gonna do uh basically this event is not worth my my time personally uh there's no real monetary value behind it for me um however you know if you guys want to do the event be my guest you know i'm not gonna tell you not to do the event it is something to do uh there is a little bit of monetary value uh so like for instance if we were to go farm uh, you want to basically go to a map that will hinder your level. Of course, I always pick the elemental zone. So, you know, Drowned Shore, Reclamation Rock, uh, Spinward Rise, or the Fairy Pit. Uh, now, any map that has, like, a dragon in it, like one of the beginning dragons, like Never Death, you can go to the Never Death and go around the uh, dragon area that will cut your level down to kill those mobs. But, I mean, for video's sake, we're just going to hop over to the Drowned Shore. Uh, I'm sure it's oversaturated and overpopulated right now because of the event so we're going to try to get a couple drops here uh, but like I said uh, if you're looking just to make a little bit of AD uh, just farm a bunch and sell the materials uh, if you like I said if you really want to go for the doohickey then your best option is to farm as much as you can throughout the event and then wait for the next event so let's just see how oversaturated this area is. I can already see all the mobs are dead. Yeah, there's people everywhere. Pretty typical. Oh, yeah, super oversaturated. Look at this. Good gracious. Let's see if we can just snag some of this stuff here. Okay, so there we go. I picked up a Wanderous Gromit. Rank 1. Uh, basically... You can, uh, it is time gated, of course, so you can get, uh, one grommet, I think it's about every 30 seconds or so, so, I mean, um, if you want to farm some gold while you're doing this, you can continue to kill stuff, but chances are you're not going to get another grommet to drop, it's about, like I said, once every 30 seconds. I just want to get, uh, a few of them real quick to show you, you know, how the refinement process does actually work. Might actually have to switch zones, guys. I didn't think the Drowned Shore would be this populated. Like, I knew it was going to be populated, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. Oh, let's see. Okay, so there's another Gromit. Okay, so basically, let's get to a safe spot here. So, like I said, you're going to farm a bunch of these. Get this out of my way. You're going to farm a bunch of uh, rank 1 grommets. Now, what you're going to do 
uh, you will have to split them. So let's say we want to level one up, you know, it's a simple process, just like level one up uh, anything, you know. Now you can only use the currency from this event to level up your grommets. So I have one, you know, boom, there you go. And then you simply just have to level them up each way. Uh, now what I want to mention is, as far as the grommets go, you do have to have a rank before, or, you know, the same rank to level it up. So to level up, you know, a rank two, you have to have level two level twos you know it's the same as enchantments okay guys so to get a doohickey you have to have the two of the rank six ones before it so as you can see the amount of farming it takes to to actually do this you know like i said your best bet is to uh do the event and save you know for the ne the next event or simply uh cash out and make some ad it's up to you uh if you really want the mount i suggest just saving the ad and buying it outright uh but that's uh really all there is to the wonders of gong guys like i said it comes around multiple times a year uh nothing too special for the event uh, so just a quick little guide video today on it if you guys have any questions or feedback or concerns be sure to leave me a comment below uh if you are new to this uh channel be sure to you know hit that subscribe button we've been growing at a super fast rate uh so i, I appreciate all the support uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video